Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading today. We have another cool tarot reading. I hope you guys are well. And Sagittarius, I start the reading with distance and we have challenges that create space between you. And we see the railroad tracks here and uh, he looks like he's, I don't know, going or coming, but there's, you know, there's some type of distance that has come between you and somebody else because we have right here out of touch, uh, the long haul out of touch. So interesting and we have the future of finding a long-term harmonious relationship some type of distance could have been uh like established or created or it happened between you and somebody else maybe they live far away possibly uh but we have coming soon and commit the future somebody wants to commit to you yeah and we have fine romance caught up in a whirlwind of emotions and promises mystery and attraction somebody is mysteriously in love with you here and they're caught up uh, you know, with their feelings about you and maybe they live in, you know, Timbuktu or Virginia or, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm here on the West Coast. So, you know, everything sounds far if, unless it's, you know, maybe, uh, maybe the next state, right? And we have step, don't be afraid to move and change. Look at that. So somebody maybe it wants to move with you or they're moving closer to you to be with you could be and empower, trust your inner vision. So here she is, and you know, she looks kind of trippy here, right? She's got these uh, giant crystals here. But uh, let's see what else we have for you guys, Sagittarius. Yeah, let's see what we got, and we're using these uh, the deck that is based on the towel. And I feel like in, Sp in uh, Spanish, not Spanish, uh, in Mandarin or Cantonese, I feel like they say the Tao. But, you know, I'm not really sure. Let's see what we have here. Uh, just like to be a little respectful, true nourishment. So this here is interesting here because this, uh, we have the heavier man. He's not heavy. He's just like at a normal weight. And then we have this really skinny guy. His bones are showing and he's sitting here and he's separating his food the same way kids do. Right. And so, because they don't like the flavors mixed together. I used to be one of those kids. Right. But you know, the point about this, uh, is that this is a completion too. It's a number nine. But what this card means is that somebody doesn't know what's really good for them or they didn't know what's good for them. Maybe they moved far away and didn't understand that they were in love with you, Sagittarius. It could be the true nourishment card. And this guy's kind of laughing at this guy or he's just taking note, taking notice of him, right? They're eating at the same table and this guy put all his, you know, meatballs or, you know, tofu, whatever he's putting on the plate. It's green and orange, right? I'm not sure. He's putting all his food together and he's going to enjoy his meal. And the other guy is separating it and he's a super bone. Somebody could have thought maybe they made the right choice that was good for them, but they didn't. Maybe they were too picky. But this guy, you know, he thinks he knows what he's doing here. And this is true nourishment. Now you or your person, Sagittarius, knows what true nourishment is. Yeah, that's what this is about. And let's see what else we have or what's really good for them. So now we have you or this person trusting your inner vision and be careful. Okay, so be careful is like the opposite of what you might think. Be careful means don't trick yourself. Don't get caught up in, uh, you know, just not trusting anything or because maybe past experiences of uh, maybe some made somebody uh oh, here comes the, the wind again, a little bit jaded, right? And so we see, uh, we see the rose here and the thorns are here. This is be careful. It's a number 10. It's a completion. Uh, and over here is some type of light. Like, you know, it's kind of like, uh, be careful not to like mis misjudge something. It's kind of like that. It is. So let's see what we have in this reading. And, uh, somebody is trusting their vision and they are not afraid or, they might be a little afraid, but they're, I don't feel like they're going to, you know, probably stay there because they are caught up in a whirlwind of emotions. And we saw uh, the wedding ring or the engagement ring right here, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. And I hope you guys are well. If you'd like your own psychic reading, Sagittarius, you may get one. I'm a Silva grad and they're accurate. Yes. And they're a lot of fun. We do them on the phone. And if you want uh, insight on somebody else, like somebody else you don't know or trust, uh, or for your own perspective about career, life, you know, life decisions, things like that, it can really help. And uh, yeah, and also we do the tarot spread at the end of that. So uh, two, two insights or two forms kind of. 
Um, and they're very personal. If you'd like your chart interpreted, which really helps you move forward in your life or make the most it's like your true potential is uh, your natal chart is the roadmap to self-realization and let's see what else we have we start with the devil okay that is not self-realization right no it's not and uh but hey this sits in the past too that's good uh, this, actually this is the overall energy i'm going to keep it like this today and crossing that is the ace of wands and see this is somebody who is a little afraid they're not going to have what they are so very inspired or passionate about that's really what this is uh the devil's here as kind of some fear right and now we have uh the eight of cups interesting and this is uh, walking away from something unfulfilling. This is helping you, Sagittarius. Somebody could be walking away from a relationship that is very far away and you might not know anything about it. Possibly to be with you. Maybe they are not at a physical distance though. Challenges that create space between you, right? So maybe it's not physical space. Maybe they live, you know, I don't know, a mile away, possibly, right? It's always possible. And whoops, we have the, and we have the ego here. And this card wanted to come out. I'm going to take it. And he's in the cocoon. So it's it's a man who is a baby here. So somebody uh, let their ego, you know, uh, sabotage them, right? Uh, they did. They let their ego kind of destroy, uh, right? And so this is somebody who is a little immature. Uh, or, you know, arrogant, maybe, uh, the ego. But the ego can manifest in many ways. Uh, but it always, it always kind of hurts us, the ego. There's no way to look at that. It doesn't do anything for us, right? It gets us in trouble. Uh, I'm, I'm so, you know, make, can make you uh, not look at things in the right, with the right uh, perspective because, you know, hey, uh, I'm right and they're wrong. And these just kind of attitudes, right? So here's the ego. And this card's about ego, too, really. True nourishment. He didn't really know it was good for him. Uh, he thought he did because he's starving here. He's almost starving, and he's still playing this game with the food, right? Still being picky. But somebody's grown here. I feel like they are. And uh, don't be afraid to move forward and change. Step. Step into it. So let's see what else we have. The Ten of Cups. And now we have uh, the Ten of Swords. We have the King of Swords here. This is a very nice reading. It really is. Uh, there was some bumps here. There was Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and we have the Justice card. So things may be, if you know this person, possibly things will, uh, def definitely the scales could be kind of balanced or like set straight, right? Things maybe can be like that. But you know, there's fear here about a decision that is made. Maybe that you had known nothing about this decision that somebody's making to maybe come from far away. It's possible. There's distance here, but it's not clear if it's physical or emotional. And it could be both or, you know, it could be one or the other or both, right? And so maybe we have a Capricorn here with the devil and then we have the Knight of, uh, the King of Swords showing up as an air sign Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or somebody with a lot of that in their chart. And the Knight of Pentacles, Sagittarius, uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Libra is, is Libra, right? Yeah, it was mentioned with the King of Swords. Okay, so we're going to get a card on the overall energy here, and uh, we have the Ten of Wands. So this is, this is kind of somebody afraid here, uh, and it's burdening them that they're not going to have this new opportunity in love with you, Sagittarius, because we have fine romance caught up in a world, in a whirlwind of promises and emotions. Interesting. And so um, I feel like when we say promise, maybe somebody promised you, but this can just be thinking that somebody is uh, there embody embodying for you the promise of love, right? like yeah like something beautiful right and so eight of cups is helping you right he's walking away maybe you're walking away from somebody and this is helping you uh understand and you know uh not be afraid to step 
into change. And now with it is the Four of Wands. This is walking away from something unfulfilling and walking toward something fulfilling here. Four of Wands, something that is stable, something that is very happy, maybe even a marriage, right? We saw the the diamond ring here, right? It's not zirconia, Sagittarius, all right? Yeah, so, you know, it's good. In the past, we see the Ten of Swords. So we have the Ten of Wands, we have the Ten of Swords, and we have the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Pentacles is here as well. So we have all these Tens, all these completions. We have, a, we have an opportunity for a new beginning, but something gets laid down with the Ten of Wands too. Something, he's going to lay these down, right? Yeah, he says, I'm breaking my back and I'm young, but pretty soon, you know, I won't be able to work, right? In the past is the Ten of Swords, and this could have been, uh, it could have been betrayal. It could have been self-betrayal, possibly. Um, or, you know, when we see the Eight of Cups walking away for something uh, fulfilling over here, walking away from something to have something fulfilling, then this Ten of Swords could be in the past, like somebody was left behind. There was an ending, right? And so we have the Eight of Pentacles with it reversed. This is definitely, I'm no longer invested and I'm letting something uh, die here. I don't want this anymore. And it could be betrayal. He's got 10 swords in his back from this deck, in this deck. So, yeah. And so now we see the 10 of cups, Sagittarius. This is coming into play, right? So isn't that really beautiful how this is showing up for you? Uh, it is. And uh, somebody's coming here to promise you something. They're trusting their vision. Uh, they could be letting you know that they know these, all these cards are kind of self-sabotage card, true nourishment, the ego, and be careful. This guy's going to, you know, he's going to, um, he's going to like starve over here. The other guy's kind of laughing at him, but, uh, this is somebody who figures out uh, I wasn't living the right way. I had the wrong attitude. That's what this is about. He realizes that, right? He's sitting there and he goes, wow, I'm skinny as heck. And this guy's just eating his food regular. And I'm playing this little game here with my food, like kind of like a child. And so then we have the ego with it and be careful. This be careful card is kind of says, be careful for your own ego. So we have these three cards of kind of poor behavior, poor attitude, ego, three cards rather. And the 10 of cups is coming into play. So somebody's coming to tell you that they know that they were, wrong. Okay. That's a, like a, a quick way to say it. Right. And now the high priestess is here. Maybe they are Pisces or Scorpio, but this is really believing, knowing that somebody's like a soulmate here. Or somebody's really important. We have empower and trust your inner vision. Yeah. So this is very cool, isn't it? And so now we have, uh, we have the Knight of pentacles, and so this said, oh, where is the card in the near future? We didn't put one down. Uh, no, we didn't. It's interesting here. Let's get a card for that. And showing up is, are there two cards here? Seven of Wands. So this is somebody who's overwhelmed. And this may be somebody who's resisting something because something goes away. Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So this can be, this can be kind of back off, right? Back off. I want this inspiring ace of wands right we know this can be about sex and love for sure it's a big phallic image right yeah it looks yeah in a way it looks a little scary here but you know uh the size right <laughs> and so you know here we have something uh and so now we have this card of resistance it can be overwhelm it can be uh pushing somebody away defending yourself right let's see what's with it the moon this is somebody who is emotionally overwhelmed, who doesn't know if they're going to have what they need or what they want. They, it's right next to the Ace of Wands. I don't know if I'm going to have this. The moon speaks of uncertainty because it is dark. Yeah. And so, right. And now we have the Knight of Pentacles showing up. And this is how you're being affected, Sagittarius. So uh, maybe that is a Knight of Pentacles there affecting, like doing this. And we have now, uh, we have the Empress reversed. This is how you've been affected. This could be somebody who walks away from 
a situation maybe you know this can be a mom sometimes right but you could be affected the, it, i feel like really what this is though is that there's something that is not fertile here with the empress reversed we know the eight of cups talks about this is not uh fulfilling so this is not fertile and this is how you're being affected i feel like somebody realizes here in this reading that they have created their own distance between you guys and they're unhappy about that yeah yeah, they know here with these three sabotage cards, right? The ego, uh, you know, that ego card, it's pretty funny. He's, uh, he's a grown man who is in this little cocoon. <laughs> I mean, he can talk about childhood wounds, which is not funny, but that's just really kind of ego. It's not so much that, I don't believe. I mean, it's not really talking about that, is it? Let's see, uh, it's not getting that deep there. Ten of Pentacles is how you affect them with the sun. Look at that. So when we see these cards together, uh, this is how you are affecting them. They have great clarity about what they want with you. The family is here. Uh, this can also be, uh, I have great clarity about like uh, what I want to complete in my life. Exactly. And this is about happiness, success, growth, clarity, the sun. It can be about power and warmth. And this is how you affect this person. And so you're affecting them as, you know, with your warmth. Yeah, and your power to, I don't know, to have them desire you, right? And this, the Knight of Wands is in the hopes and fears. We're going to get a card on the hopes and fears. And it sits here with the Five of Swords. It does. And this is, um, you know, with the Knight of Wands first. This, well, it doesn't really matter, but this is somebody who's taking action. There's a victory and a defeat with this one card. I hope I have a victory because maybe I've let I've 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 let something uh, I've defeated something or maybe I let something else defeat me. It's just an ending is my point. Some type of change because the fives are always speaking about change, right? So that's what we have here, and that's in the hopes and fears, and in the potential outcome we see justice, and this is great. This is uh, maybe you were fighting with this person. This is bringing harmony and balance and a uh, balancing the scales. Um, it, you know, and this can be also, uh, maybe a decision. I mean, a decision has been made here for sure. Uh, it's not saying when exactly, but, uh, this is wisdom. It's just a really good card to show up in the potential outcome. And we're going to get another card on it just for the sake of that. Yeah. And now we have the two of pentacles. This is somebody who is wondering, you're maybe you're wondering, uh, Sagittarius, uh, Maybe if they have made this decision or if you're going to have harmony and balance with them, possibly. Maybe if they're going to be fair with you. Justice is, uh, you know, it's always supposed to be about fairness, right? That's the whole idea, right? The idea of it is that. And so, mm -hmm, uh, maybe you're wondering if they've already made this decision. Uh, maybe you're wondering if they understand that they've been possibly unfair. We're going to get another card here. Mm-hmm can be when we see justice sometimes it's about karmic lessons uh, because you know the judge can come down hard right here we have the king of uh, wands and that is you Sagittarius and so we're going to get one more card <laughs> and we have judgment and so this is judgment and justice can be like wow there could be a divorce in this reading there really could that's exactly when you go to court, you, uh, you go for justice and you hear the judgment, right? And this can also be, uh, like, I wonder if, you know, I'm going to have a rebirth, if a wise decision has been made, I wonder if Sagittarius will forgive me. It can be a whole bunch of things here. It's, it's, uh, it's really interesting with judgment and justice. There could be a rebirth where somebody comes out of their big fat ego over here, right? This ego's not, it's not helping him. He's stuck here. But this is, uh, after, this was before, this is somebody moving out of that and they know they need to stop dealing with their ego because the be careful card says that. So this is really a beautiful reading because I feel like rebirth is coming on some level for you, Sagittarius. Uh, mm -hmm. And if it is about your career, trust your inner vision, go do that and don't be afraid to move and change. All right, we're going to end this reading. Thanks so much for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you would like to see the end of the uh, the June horoscope for all 12 signs. That will be hooked or pinned, rather, at the top of the comments uh, in today's reading. Thanks so much, you guys.